Constellations For the ancients, the importance of observation of the heavens cannot be underestimated. It was the means by which the cycles of the year and longer term phases in time could be measured, calculated and foretold. Astronomers in all early civilizations saw patterns in the stars by which time and place could be fixed. Inevitably, perhaps, the eternal and apparently unchanging nature of the skies meant that they became closely associated with, or indeed identified as, these civilizations' gods. The stars and star patterns were incorporated into mythologies concerning the exploits of deities and their interactions with humanity, so that many of the constellations we can view today are named after beings and objects in those ancient tales. Aris the Ram Aris is the first of the twelve signs of the zodiac because in ancient times it was where the sun's pith crossed the celestial equator. Since then, this point has passed into Pisces due to the Earth's wobble. Aris has been associated with the ram for at least 2000 years. Taurus the Bull Taurus is the second of the twelve constellations or signs of the zodiac. The most distinctive feature of Taurus is the V-shape formed by the Hades star duster at the base of the constellation's horns. Taurus is a very ancient constellation possibly deriving from bull worship in early Mediterranean civilizations. Gemini The Twins Gemini is the third of the twelve signs of the zodiac. The twins are the two brightest stars in the lower right of the constellation with Pollux above and to the right of Castor. Cancer The Crab Cancer is the fourth of the twelve signs of the zodiac. It is a relatively inconspicuous constellation. In Greek mythology, Cancer was associated with Hercules. Leo, the Lion Leo is the fifth of the twelve signs of the zodiac. The stars of Leo form two groups, a triangle forming the lion's haunches and tail, whilst a sickle shape forms its head and mane. Leo's brightest star, Regulus, is at the base of the sickle and seems to be more important in mythology than the lion itself. Virgo, the Virgin Virgin is the sixth of the twelve signs of the zodiac. The Virgin is an old and astrologically important constellation associated with a mother goddess. She was Kanya, mother of Krishna in India, Ishtar in Babylonia, Isis in Egypt. In Greece and Rome, she was Astria, daughter of Zeus and Themis. Libra, the scales of balance. Libra is a relatively inconspicuous constellation in the southern hemisphere. Libra was known as the balance beam in India and Middle Eastern cultures before Roman times. Scorpius, the Scorpion. Scorpius lies between Sagittarius and Libra. It is an important summer constellation for northern hemisphere observers, containing many bright stars and the star clouds, nebulae and dust lanes of the Milky Way. Sagittarius, the Archer. Sagittarius lies between Scorpius and Capricornus. It is a large southern constellation which contains the star clouds of the central Milky Way, lying in the direction of the center of our galaxy. Sagittarius is depicted as a centaur holding a bow and arrow, which is pointed at the star Antares, the heart of Scorpius. Capricornus Sea Goat Capricornus lies just south of the celestial equator, but is still visible to northern observers during early evenings in the autumn. It is one of the twelve zodiacal constellations lying between Aquarius and Sagittarius. Aquarius the water bearer. Aquarius is the eleventh of the twelve constellations of the zodiac. It is an extensive southern hemisphere constellation. The whole area of the sky in which it lies was associated in ancient times with water. Pisces, the fish. 
Pisces, the twelfth of the twelve constellations of the zodiac, is a large but inconspicuous constellation. It appears as a fish or two fishes in several ancient cultures. Orion The most prominent feature of the Orion constellation is Orion's belt, a row of three bright stars. From left to right, these are Alnitak, Alnilam and Mintaka, Zeta, Epsilon and Delta Orions respectively. At upper left is the red supergiant star, Betelgeuse, Alpha Orions. The blue supergiant Regal, Beta Orionis, is at lower right. Directly below the belt, the Orion Nebula is seen as a pink smudge. Orion's belt straddles the celestial equator, so the constellation is seen equally well from both hemispheres.